the last time Great Falls native and former NFL quarterback Ryan Leaf stepped within these walls at Montana State Prison it was about 10 years ago. But today, he made his triumphant return, delivering an inspiring message of his own experiences to current inmates. I used to think that the only way for your life to get better is it had to be about you. If you told Ryan Leaf 10 years ago that the next time he'd be back in Montana State Prison wouldn't be as a prisoner, but as a guest speaker, well... You're nuts. Like, you're crazy. What? You know my story. Like, does that sound any bit true? No. But the unlikely story is now the true story. The man once convicted on felony drug and burglary charges now speaks hope into the lives of prisoners trapped within the same cycles of addiction that once plagued him. I think it helps for me to step in that room and tell them that I relate and can identify with them probably better than anybody out in the public, that I was exactly where they were 10 years ago. And you can have the life of your dreams. You know, you have to do the next right thing. And when you do mess up, own it. The three things that I tell him that he can't control simply are his attitude, his behavior, and his effort. A key part of Ryan's story, the belief that people shouldn't let themselves be defined by the worst thing they've done, something that seemed to resonate with every inmate. My decision five years ago that brought me here, my actions, is not the end of my story. Just as his actions ten years ago is not the end of his story. Now Ryan's appearance was part of Montana State Prison's The Last Mile program, which has equipped these inmates with employable computer programming skills that should translate to the job market on the outside. Uh, I want to get into data science and machine learning. I think we have access to so much technology, and this has just given me a launch pad to start learning the foundational concepts for that. And hopefully, you know, have a new chapter in my life that doesn't involve prison. I'm going to tell you right now, the hardest thing for us when we walk out is hope. And this is what the last mile presents. It, it, it presents a semblance of hope for these, these young men. And Ryan gave the inmates three key areas to really focus on as they continue through the program. Number one, accountability. Number two, spirituality. And number three, community. Reporting from Montana State Prison, Johnny Walker, MTN Sports.